probably one of those unique groups, you know, in the Vancouver Island region that uh, loves to see clear cuts full of firewood, you know, <laughs> because bees need that diversity. And, and you, you think, well, how can a cut block provide diversity? I mean, it's all cut down. But in fact, the pioneering plants that come back into cut blocks are very diverse, you know, trailing blackberries, salal, uh, slender hawkweed, pearly everlasting, uh, and fireweed, of course. Broom. Oh, broom, <laughs> yeah, for sure, lots of broom, yeah, let's not forget broom. It doesn't provide much nectar, unfortunately, there's no nectar from it, otherwise we'd all be swimming in broom. <laughs> but uh, but it, it does uh, provide pollen, which is a, an equally important source. Pollen is the protein source for bees. Recognize that there's great diversity in, in the cut blocks up there, and great diversity in these mixed uh, secondary and tertiary forests that are starting to grow back with maples and alder and all sorts of other, you know, brambles like uh, blackberry brambles and things. In our own industry, we're quite concerned with the lack of uh, genetic diversity amongst our queens and resilience. It's part of that that whole uh, connection to the cup blocks up in the in the hills because ultimately we need to breed those queens, but queens breed in the air. They fly up into the air, they meet some drones, the male, uh, the male equation in the hive, and they mate mid-air, maybe 30 to 70 or 100 meters in the air, and they're mating with several drones and then coming back to the hive. Now we need areas that are free of other drones that we don't want them to mate with. And the areas that we use are up in the cup blocks because we can make sure that we get good, clean, pure mating. But only if we can get up, you know, into the cup blocks. If we tried it in here, I've got four or five other beekeepers around me here. I might get their stock mixed in, and it would be less, uh, you know, it would be like having your your show grade poodle meet up with a dash owl. Um, not, not such a good thing, right? After 45 years of, of taking bees into the cup blocks, that I think with the, the heavy machinery that crawls through, uh, that crawl through the cup blocks and, and mulch everything up, uh, helps to break uh, that material down and, and add a compostable material that increases the diversity. Forestry companies have to keep in mind, I think, and, and beekeepers as well, is we can work together as a team and uh, we're an extra set of eyes on, uh, on the area. The model that we're basing uh, Vancouver Island uh, uh, forestry on is probably one of the better models when it comes to uh, combining it with uh, bees.